Hi, I'm David Stein of Money for the Rest of Us. And in this video, I share the secret to how to be a successful trader. Recently, I was at a furniture store and I met with a sales rep who was way more excited about trading options, futures, commodities than he was about selling me furniture. He'd been a member of a trading academy for a year. He still hasn't traded any of his own money. He was doing virtual trading accounts. He wanted to make sure, as he rightly should, that he could be successful before he started risking his own capital. He was five years away from retirement. He had worked at this furniture store for 14 years, had never participated in the 401k defined contribution plan, gave up the free money in terms of the company match. I asked him why. He said, stock investing is risky. You could lose your money. Yet here he was learning how to trade levered assets, assets such as options, futures, commodities, foreign exchange that could be levered up to 50 to one that could easily get rid of all his capital. Yet he wanted to learn to trade. He inherited some money from his mother and asked his wife about, should I join this trading academy? And she says, you should invest in yourself. He said, this is my retirement. So he paid $23,000 to this trading academy to learn how to trade. He said he could have paid $50,000 and joined their mastermind community. I actually attended a free workshop at this trading academy. I won't share the name of it, but I'll share with you the patent that they have for their trading process. So you can learn and see how they believe one should be a successful trader. So I attended a class, it was four hours long, 15 attendees, two of them were still in high school, only three women, 12 men, a couple of gentlemen were in their seventies. They all wanted to learn to trade. I didn't so much want to learn to trade. I wanted to figure out how they could convince a 65 year old man with very limited experience investing to pony up $23,000 to join their academy. Their approach was traditional investing doesn't work. That if we're behind in our investing, we haven't saved enough money, earning six to seven percent on stocks and not using leverage makes it very difficult to accumulate a lot of capital. In other words, they, they really focused on levered assets. Learning to trade is the way to really accumulate capital. The instructor said he had never earned less than 40% per year trading. Never said how much he invested. He felt 10% per year goal because of the leverage was enough to accumulate enough capital. So he taught us what we needed to know to learn how to trade. He said, if you're not educated, essentially you're, you're not going to be able to thrive in the markets and that we need to do something different from what other traders are doing. Otherwise we'll earn marginal returns. They talked about the importance of being decisive to being coachable and having a plan. But when you came down to it, when I looked at their patent, the way that they taught to be a successful trader was to exploit novice traders. Here's their quote from their patent. They said, we're operating under the assumption that trading in most markets is a zero sum game. Winners win at the expense of losers losing. And that's true. That's what trading is. If you have a winning trade, it's because somebody lost. That's different than other asset classes, income oriented asset classes, where there's cash flow and there's income, they have a positive expected return. With trading, the expected return is zero because for every winner, there's a loser. And they admit in their training that if you're using leverage, you can quickly lose most of your capital. So you have to be right more than 50% of the time. And they wanted to teach how to be right. They say the way to be right is to, to take advantage. They didn't use the word take advantage. They said, here's the rest of their quote. It is important to identify the mistakes that other traders typically make in markets so that these can be exploited. What are these mistakes? Well, they point out that many traders just trust their gut. They don't have a trading plan. Other traders have a plan, but it can be based on price trends. They tend to buy 
after a price rise. That's a very typical trading strategy. But this academy points out that once that price is up, that that's often when there's additional supply provided by professional traders. In other words, they're selling once that price has increased and they're selling to novice traders that are now buying. They call that a trading zone or a demand zone. On the downside, when many traders might be selling, that's often where professionals are willing to buy and ride the price up again. And so the key, they say, is to sort of look for the footprints of what institutions are doing and what novice traders are doing. And the way to be successful is to exploit these novice traders, which is why these trading schools need beginning traders to come in, streams of them to learn how to trade, to sit through these four hour workshops and to try their hand at trading. Now, this particular academy offered me a chance to take a three day class for $300. I walked out. But most of those 15, they stayed and they signed up. And next time after taking that four day class, some of them will pay $23,000 to join this trading academy. Now, I'm not saying you can't be successful at trading. I'm saying you have to be patient, you have to be diligent, and you have to work very, very hard. And at the end of the day, to be successful, you have to do what institutions do and exploit more novice traders. That's not how I want to earn money investing. I want to focus on asset classes that generate cash flow, that cash flow grows, do it the old fashioned way and save for retirement. Hey, if you have any questions on this video, you can leave those below and please subscribe to my channel. Thanks.